this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is the story. Empty shelves, lines outside of academies. Now manufacturers are trying to keep up with ammo demands. But a virus, as we've seen, can slow production. Prince used to sell at least 10,000 rounds a day. Now... It's just one or two thousand, and the price. What up? This is D Channel Guns coming to this gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information that y'all bring over here. I appreciate y'all smashing that like button, sharing on your favorite social media platform. And like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a mess. I'm just the average citizen trying to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. So with that said. I appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2A community, helping out the first-time buyers and stuff, leaving all the comments and letting everybody know what's going on in the, in the country and stuff all over the place. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the ones pretty much come over here every single day through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So we're going to get into it. You already know what time it is, people. Guess what? Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is the new goal. Like I said before, everybody is trying to get it. And this stuff here is pretty much has caused people to pretty much come off the sideline, people. I'm talking about, if you've been watching my channel for years, a lot of people were sitting on the sideline. And a lot of people was wondering, well, how many people sitting on the sideline? I used to say that all the time. They were like, well, who's still sitting on the sideline that don't know what's going to happen when it comes to ammo and farms and all the stuff that we got to deal with? And y'all saw how many people was on the sideline. It's still many people out there. A lot of people don't believe that. It's still a lot of people out there and everything. They're still coming out. And that's the reason why this ammo shortage is going to get continued, people. Firearms, background checks, the, the numbers are still staggering out there that I'm looking at across the country. When it comes to ammo prediction, I'm talking about decades ago, people, I was told, a gentleman told me when I first came into the 2A community, he said the most, thing, the most important thing you can buy right now is ammo, no matter what nobody tell you. And he has been right ever since then. Ammo has been the go-to for the 2A community for a long time. I remember when I first came in, I was watching all these people, you know, stacking up all this ammo and stuff. Now, you know, there was a lot of negative stuff out there. And the reason why I'm talking about this, because I, I get comments and people were talking about it and stuff like that. But when I first came in, people, guess what? There was the negativity out there. There was the haters. Well, you can't, why are you stacking all this ammo? You can't carry it and stuff like that. A lot of people just didn't understand because their vision was short. If you out there right now, you listen to all this negativity and stuff like that, you got to block it out, people. You know your goals. You know what you're trying to do. You got to look far beyond what you're seeing right now. This ammo shortage has surprised a lot of people, even people who's been in the ammo business for 30 years plus. I've been hearing and the talk is huge, people, when it comes to ammo. They've never seen this before. And like I said before, each shortage seems to get deeper and worse of people as time go on. We've got more people still coming in. But this is unprecedented, people. This is unprecedented. Nobody could predict 10 years ago that we were going to hit, be hit with this perfect storm, civil unrest, the um, you know, the uh, riots and stuff. I'm talking about um, you got um, laws. Uh, I'm talking about all this kind of stuff that we're facing. We're facing everything, people, and that's the reason why, like I said before, the predictions are being thrown out. I'm talking about you know when you look at the ammo manufacturers and stuff. They're constantly changing how long this is going to go. I'm to my, at one time, it was six months. Then it's 12 months. I'm to my, now it's 24 months. Who knows how long this is going to go, people? But at the end of the day, you have to have your goals at focus, at mind. I'm to my, forget about the headlines. I'm to my, I know you see a lot of videos and stuff, all this ammo and stuff here and there and stuff. You see the empty shelves and stuff like that. Don't let that discourage you, people. I'm just saying, don't let that discourage you. You still keep pushing on and everything. Even though people say, hey, they're not going to pay for the ammo price and stuff. Guess what? You got to do what you got to do. Who knows? The ammo prices. When we was paying $9 a box for 9 millimeters, some cheaper. I'm to my, now you're not looking at that no more, people. We don't know if this is going to be a new normal. We don't know have ammo had creeped up to a whole nother level. And I've been saying for a long time over here, ammo has been going up over the years, people. And it has not gone down. Could this be the next level when it comes to ammo prices? Nobody knows. But when you have all the environmental laws, raw material costs, everything that the farm manufacturers and ammo factors need, you factor that in, people, that can be another increase on ammo. Ammo might not go back down no more. Even with some of your ammo retailers and stuff and, and your ammo shops and stuff, you know, they're saying, hey, they're gonna keep price down and stuff. They're not gonna be able to keep price down. I hate to I hate to be the bear bad news. They can't. They're not gonna be paying 
higher prices for ammo and selling it for cheaper. They're going to be losing money. It'll run you out of business. That's not a big, I'm talking about it's just going to, it's just going to run you out of business, people. I'm talking about, I just hate to say it. That strategy is not going to work over the long term. I hear the talk about, you know, they're not going to price gouge on the ammo. But, you know, when you have customers who are used to a certain price, let's take academies, for example. At academies, everybody is going to academies because they're getting, keeping their ammo and stuff low. But if academy has to pay a little bit more to get the ammo that they're selling, guess what? They're going to raise the prices. So everybody's going to feel the crunch over time, people. I'm just telling you the truth about ammo. I'm to my, you know, I, I would love to get cheap ammo and stuff. When Walmart was having their clearance and stuff like that, a lot of people sat on the sideline because, oh, I'm not going to buy ammo from Walmart, all this kind of stuff because of their reasons and stuff like that. But guess what? You missed an opportunity of the lifetime to get cheap ammo. A lot of us done it. You can't go back in time, people. You just can't. A lot of people wish they would have pulled the trigger on a lot of ammo and stuff when they had the opportunity, but they didn't. You just can't go back, people. So we're going to have to pretty much get used to a 50-round box of ammunition Pretty much costing you 75 cent or more, 50, 55, 60 cent or more, you know, to a dollar, a dollar more per round. You might have to get used to it because when you factor all the ingredients and stuff that I've been talking about over time, uh, to my, the price is going to go up. A lot of people, I have showed the PPI when it comes to MO um, companies and all the parts and stuff like that when it comes to ammunition and stuff. I've been showing that trend line over the 10 years. And it has been going up, up, up. I haven't seen it go down. I haven't seen no spike of that. It has been going up, 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 people. So that is something that you're going to have to get used to right now when it comes to ammo and stuff. And the people who's coming in, see, when I came into buying ammo and stuff like that, I didn't know I'm talking about what the price of the ammo was. So there was people who was in ammo for a long time before me said, oh, you know, the ammo is higher now. But I didn't know, so I'm just buying it. So, you know, now I see what is going on when it comes to ammo and stuff. So the people who's coming in now, they don't know the ammo prices, people. So uh, to my, the information is not there, but everybody's not getting the information. Like I said before, some people has paid $80 for a 50-round box of ammunition because they didn't know. And like I said before, because all these people don't know coming in, they're going to keep paying people. So that is just the fact of the matter when it comes to this ammo shortage. I'm just telling you the truth, people. If you want somebody to lie to you, then I'm the wrong one. But when it comes to the ammo, people, you have to focus on your situation only. Don't be distracted by everybody else. And a lot of these people who have ammo and stuff, I'm talking about take, take it with a grain of salt. I'm talking about, you know, right now, when we look at all the prices, all the websites we're looking at, I'm talking about nobody is buying a thousand rounds that cheap for what I've been looking at now. Take it with a grain of salt, people. Some of these people already had this ammo and stuff like that. So you got to kind of, you know, you got to kind of look at that, you know, situation because there's a lot of people telling me that somebody bought this ammo for debt. And if you're buying, buying ammo at very cheap, um, you better take a look at who you're buying the ammo from um, because, you know, check the quality of the ammunition. I've been talking about that before. I had a friend who bought some cheap ammunition. And guess what? It was not good ammo, people, especially if you're buying hollow points and you're using that self-defense and you have rounds of ammo that don't even go off and stuff like that. You'll put, they'll put you in a bad situation. So, Ammo quality should be your focus too. Uh, to my, this dirt cheap ammo, uh, to my, for tr training, practice, and stuff like that, that is fine. Now, I'm not saying that you can't use full metal jacket if that's all you got, but make sure it's from a, a reputable company, a good quality company, and stuff like that. But, you know, there's people reloading and selling it. I'm seeing it all over the place, people, and everything. So don't put your life at stake like that. Make sure you shoot some of this stuff because, like I said, I have done, bought some cheap ammo and stuff. And, you know, out of 100, you probably have about 10 or 15. That is not good when you're carrying it in your um, your handgun for home defense or uh, concealed carry and stuff like that. You need every round to go off when it counts. That is the most important thing I can't tell I can tell people. So, like I said, when it comes to ammo prediction, people, guess what? Keep your eyes open. Keep a, a long-term view of this whole thing because it's not going to be over with. And don't hold your breath, people. If you're waiting on the sideline, a lot of people was waiting on the sideline ever since April of last year, uh, November. I my, you see how the months just keep going ahead, and guess what? It's just getting deeper and worse, people. So. When we see it over here, we will let you know. But right now, people, it's a lot of things out there, a lot of certain that we're looking at. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.